Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video I'd like to have a look at some setups that have been unfolding today which is May the 10th on the Indian markets. But before we have a look at a chart we have to have a look at our risk uh, disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical, no trades were actually taken. They're shown for illustration and training purposes only. Also remind you that there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. All professional traders know that losses can and will and do happen. I'll say that again. Losses can and will and do happen. And all trade decisions are your own sole responsibility. Right, let's have a look at uh, the Bank Nifty on a three minute chart as it's unfolding today. This is a chart using um, our NSE regular trading hours using our uh, global data fees data. And I want to have a look at some setups that have been unfolding today, which is the 10th of May. This is a three minute chart. So let's put these setups. You can see we have two cell setups, a VS or volume spike setup. That's where we have a high volume spike <coughs> on a bar that goes beyond a prior pivot. And then that uh, pivot uh, or the market then fails to follow through and the market then reverses uh, after that. We also have a holy grail trade setup a bit later in the day. But I want to put this in context with our large degree chart. So if you remember from prior videos, what we do is look at the higher time frame chart. So if you look at a three minute chart, we go out to a higher time frame, which is between three and five time frames higher. So in this case, you'll be going out to the 15 minute chart. Just wait till this uh, data loads. And there it is. So what do we do on this? <clears throat> well, we go out to our previous highs and lows. You can see here was a our previous high here. So we right mouse click, do decision point. <clears throat> now these levels are important because they're on the chart in advance. So even before today even opened, this resistance area would have been up here on the chart ready. And can you see what happened today? <clears throat> Basically the market has uh, opened here, then rallied up and then gone into <clears throat> this 15 minute resistance area. So let's see what this means for our three minute chart. We'll just go back down to our three minute chart. <clears throat> so here you can see our 15 minute resistance on our three minute chart. So can you see now how this VS setup was actually not just unfolding uh, on a black MTP trend, which is our uh, color coded trend indicator, black being flat, or in other words, in the process of a reversing. And you can see that's what's been happening most of the time here as we've been in and around this level. Blue for up, red for down. But because this was at larger degree resistance, this would have been a good trade to take. So let's place the analysis on this uh, VS setup here. So we right mouse click over the red cell bar, do analysis, and there's our trade setup. Remember, uh, position sizing gives you the correct number of uh, contracts, lots or shares <coughs> to take to keep your initial risk small under control. So the market came down, went to the first target very nicely where a profit of 4.4R was available. In other words, at this level, the profit was 4.4 times greater than the initial risk. So that was a very nice trade indeed. We then had another trade a bit later in the day. Again, this was a good trade to take because it was coming off this higher time frame resistance. So you can see there's our higher time frame resistance. This is the initial decline down here. We then had an ABC correction up into here for a potential what we call a holy grail trade setup. What is this? Well, if I right mouse click over the red cell bar to analysis, this is a potential wave two. The target is down here. We haven't actually reached it yet because the market is still uh, is still open. So we don't quite know whether we can reach this target. But if we do, the profit would be 6.6 uh, or 6.6 times greater than the initial risk. This is what's so good about the Holy Grail trade setup is because when the profits come through, they're large, but not just large in um, <coughs> rupees, as you can see here, but large in relation to the initial risk. So the point being is if you make, uh, or when you make losses, I'll phrase it like that, when you make losses, because you will make losing trades, the losses are kept small at just one R. So this could be a very good trade indeed. But remember, there's already been a plus 4.4 R profit here early in the day. If we go back to yesterday, the day before, there were again some, uh, some nice trade setups short and on the long side. The best ones would have been on the long side because we were going up into this 15 minute resistance. So the large degree trend uh, would have been up. So the best trade setup would have been this tier three uh, buy setup here. But the main one I wanted to look at was today. Let's just clear this all off. 
For you guys who are a bit more advanced, you'd also notice that this VSL setup, if we right mouse click here, do Elliott Wave Intermediate, was actually off a five wave sequence as well. So that was the end of a, uh, wave five, with the market then going back into <clears throat> the DP from the wave four there. So that was uh, giving you added confidence in that particular little trade setup there. But as you can see, today has been or is unfolding as a good day uh, for the Bank Nifty for MT Predictor, in particular where we had our 15 minute resistance or our higher time for resistance on the chart. And the Bank Nifty went up into that, which has basically nailed the high of the day for you. Uh, off that, we've then had a nice VS uh, sell setup, which as you've already seen, came down and made a nice 4.4 hour profit. And then also now we're in the process of a potential Holy Grail trade setup that uh, has a potential of a 6.6 hour .6 profit. We don't know whether it'll get there yet because the market's actually open at the moment. But hopefully this is a good example of showing MT Predictor on the Indian markets, um, in particular a three minute chart on the Bank Nifty that's unfolding today, which is May the 10th.